Welcome back to my channel, everyone. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Switch widget with the cheap yellow display. I designed the UI using Square Line Studio software. First, go to File and select Project Settings. Choose the TFT ESPI version 2.0 and the LVGL version 9.1. Select the folder for UI export and then click Apply Changes. I added a few images by clicking Add File into Asset. You can download more icons from the website freepic.com. Okay, back to the main content. On a blank screen, I added a panel and customized its size and color in the Style Setting tab. I added a switch widget from the widget tab and dragged it into the panel. Next, I added a label to display the status of the switch. Similarly, I created another panel to contain the remaining two switches. Here, I added an image to make it more lively. To add an image, you just need to click on the image widget. Then, add the image. I chose the light off image for the initial state. This is quite an important part. Now I will add events to the switches. Starting with the first switch in the event tab, select add new event. For the trigger, choose value change. For the action, select set text value when checked, then click add. For the target, select the label to display the status. Here I choose label one. For the on text, I add all on, and for the off text, I add all off. Click the play button to run the simulation. So, I have configured the event for the first switch. Okay, next I will configure the events for the remaining two switches. For the second switch, go to the event tab and click add new event. For the trigger, also choose value change. For the type, select image. And for the action, choose set property. Then click add. For the target, Select image 1 corresponding to switch 2. For the value, choose the image light on. Click the play button to run the simulation. As you can see, when I click the switch, the image changes from black to green. However, when I turn off the switch, the image does not return to its original state. Don't worry about that. We'll fix it in the firmware. Now, let's continue with the last switch. The steps are similar to the previous switch. For the target, I select image 2 corresponding to switch 3. For the value, I also choose the image light on. Click the play button to run the simulation. The UI design is now complete. Next, we just need to export the UI and go to modify the firmware to make everything works together. Now, let's move on to editing the firmware. I've provided the source code for the video in the description below. You can download it for reference. First, I'll go into the UI.C file to edit the events here. As you can see, these are the events created in SquareLine. They won't run according to the logic I want. So I do some magic. And boom, everything works fine now. I'll go over some important parts so you can make your own adjustments as needed. First, I create the variables. The first variable is the number of switches needed. Here, I use three switches, so I set the value to three. The second variable is the array of switch states, with an initial value of false for all elements. The reason I do this is to create a function to manage the switch states, making it easier to use in main.cpp. This will help keep the source code neat and efficient when you need to manage multiple switches. All right, currently, these two variables are local variables. To use them in main.cpp, you need to implement them as global variables. In the ui.h file, I will add define num switches and use extern for the switch states array. Next, back to the ui.c file, I'll give a brief explanation of how to configure switch events. We will iterate through each switch and configure the event for it. Check the event code. If the event code is LV event value changed, update the status of switch 1. Switch state 0 is updated based on the target state. 
Then handle the state of switch 1. If switch 1 is on, switch states 0 is true. Turn on all switches. Update the status checks for switch 2 and switch 3. After that, update the image to display the state. Conversely, if switch 1 is off, turn off all the remaining switches. Remove the status checks for switch 2 and switch 3. Update the image and finally, update the text of UI label 1 to all on or all off based on the target state. For switch 2, if the event code is LV event value changed, update the status of switch 2. To switch state's value is 1 is updated based on the target state. Then update the image. Next, check the status of the switches. If both switch 2 and switch 3 are on, turn on switch 1. Update the status check of switch 1. Update the label and image. If switch 2 is off, turn off switch 1. Remove the status check of switch 1. Update the UI label 1 label. Similarly, for switch 3 and any additional switches, the steps for configuring the events will be the same. Back to the main.cpp file, I will add the number of LED and the GPIO pins to control the LED. Here, I use 2 LED and 2 GPIO pin. The value of num LED is 2, meaning I use 2 LED. For each LED, we will use a different GPIO pin. LED 0 will use GPIO pin 22, and LED 1 will use GPIO pin 27. This code will loop through all the LEDs and set the output mode for the corresponding GPIO pins to control the LEDs. Create a timer to control the LEDs every 100 milliseconds using LV timer. Update the state of the LEDs based on the switch states of the switch widget. You can add more LEDs or relays by repeating the command with the corresponding index. Remember to place the new timer initialization function in the void setup section so that the program runs correctly. With this, we have completed the firmware modification process. Next, simply compile and upload the program to the ESP32. The final part of the video is to test the designed features on the actual device to see if everything works as expected. If you find the information in the video helpful, please leave a like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos in the future. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. See you in the next time.